Pleasure to see you again, President. Pleasure is mine. Very nice pleased to meet you. Third time I'm talking to you. Happy to be with you third time. <laughs> How was your meeting with Narendra Modi? Very good meeting. Um, uh, one that reflected uh, India's uh, old and deep relationship with Afghanistan. And also one that reflected especially the past 12 years um, of a very strong relationship. Very, very uh, good relationship. So it was in that uh, spirit of uh, friendship and brotherhood. And uh, did Mr. Modi pick up the issue of the attack on Indian interests continuously in Afghanistan, especially the recent one a few days back in Herat? I, I uh, um, told him about this uh, and narrated the whole manner of the uh, attack um, on the Indian consulate in Herat. And we uh, po discussed the possible reasons uh, uh, for that attack, uh, as is the view of the Afghan security forces. Uh, the attack was definitely uh, political in nature, definitely, uh, done by terrorist networks. Um, uh, the report that we have um, uh, uh, given to us by a Western intelligence agency indicates clearly that the attack was launched by lashkar e uh, with names uh, and telephone details. So um, uh, it was clearly a terrorist attack and clearly motivated by uh, political objectives. What can you expand on that? What, well, what they wanted objective? to cause uh, uh, embarrassment to uh, both Afghanistan and India around the inauguration of the new prime minister. Uh, they were, they had planned to go and hold the consulate for a while. Uh, luckily, the, the Indian uh, security guards uh, showed an initial uh, alertness in shooting down uh, one of the terrorists who wanted to climb the walls of the consulate with a ladder that they already had. And then the Afghan security forces arrived on the scene promptly, and then they dealt uh, with the rest of them. You see, uh, President Karzai, you know, every time we speak to those in Pakistan, and uh, political forces in Pakistan, and some analysts in Pakistan, and those who are close to the establishment in Pakistan, they say this is not our problem. They simply say that this is uh, the inability of the Karzai government is the inability of the Afghans to handle the law and order situation. And these, yesterday in fact, some of them said, these are non-state actors who have absolutely no link to the Pakistani establishment in any way. How long can this continue? Two questions here are. One, uh, uh, whether the Afghan state has the ability to um, address issues like that. We do have, we have shown it. We are alert, we are prompt. Second, whether these acts are uh, acts of terrorism. Sure, they are. And a third element comes in. Where do they come from? Where did they originate? And the history behind all of that. So without uh, uh, getting into the mood of a blame game or of accusation or trying to point fingers, Point to stick. I would um, uh, be very clear, uh, and the clarity is yes, that we have a problem in this region of terrorism, of extremism, and of rising radicalism. Someone has uh, done this. Someone in this region found use for these extremists. Uh, call it state actors or non-state actors. Uh, give them any identification or any label. They are a fact here, a miserable fact for us in this region. And also now for Pakistan, uh, and unfortunately, uh, a fact that keeps hurting uh, civilians and people every day in Pakistan. Now, if we stop asking whether they were, they were uh, state actors or non-state actors, 
do we need to address it or not? Precisely we do. Do we need to uh, get rid of them or not? Do we need to bring civility and safety to our population across the region, the whole Indian subcontinent, India, Pakistan, and Afghanistan? We do. And are there some people in Pakistan who agree with us? Yes, they do. Are there some who don't agree with us? Yes, there are. Now, it is our job and our pursuit to try to convince those who don't agree with us so we can together bring this region to better standards uh, of security. And how, how, how do we do that? Because, you know, uh, you have yourself said that as per all the intelligence reports, this particular attack, was sponsored by the lashkar e toiba was carried out by the lashkar e toiba lashkar e toiba operates out of pakistan and in fact a day before nawaz sharif was to leave for india hafiz said the same man who masterminded 2611 was warning him not to make that trip it is believed that the pakistani army has levers president karzai over the lashkar e toiba the question is whether it exercises those levers or lets the whole situation go out of hand I mean, let me bring you down to the basics now. You've handled the situation for years. Each time I meet you, mm -hmm. we talk about it. Mm -hmm. But what the, the point right now is that this is therefore mm -hmm. an attack sponsored from within Pakistani territory mm -hmm. against Indian interests mm -hmm. in your country. Mm -hmm. Do you agree mm -hmm. with that? I very much agree with that. I very much agree with that. We know that Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif has good intentions towards Afghanistan and towards India. I know that personally. Yeah. The fact that he came here yesterday to attend the inauguration proved that. Sure. We also saw the gentleman that you mentioned, uh, uh, Hafiz, Hafiz Said, Hafiz Said uh, the day before yesterday protested against uh, Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif's visit uh, yes. to India and his attending the inauguration. That's right. So. Uh, Hafiz Saeed was speaking in Pakistan. Yeah. Now, if Hafiz Saeed is um, uh, connected to these terrorist organizations, then it is the job of the Pakistani security establishment, the Pakistani security establishment, to address it uh, for the well-being of Pakistan and for the well-being of neighbors. So it is very clear there cannot be a second opinion. There cannot be. Um, going about it lightly or um, in denial because of niceties. Uh, we have all the niceties, we have all the, um, um, the, the right um, uh, approaches to, to neighborly relations, to friendship, to human-to-human -human relationship, to regional relationships. But we also must be very clear because uh, innocent people are losing lives here in both countries, India and Afghanistan and also in, in Pakistan. Therefore. Uh, with all the niceties, uh, I would like to say it again that it is upon the security establishment in Pakistan to act and act promptly and be clear about And this. you're talking about the Pakistan army when you say the Pakistan security establishment. Who, who, the euphemism for that. Who, 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 whoever is, 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 is uh, capable uh, and whoever has the influence to address this issue must address it. Do you, do you therefore feel that the Pakistani security establishment, a section of it, was against Nawaz Sharif's visit and therefore timed the attack on Herat? I, I can't say that because I don't know that. Um, I only know that there was an attack in Herat on the Indian consulate. I know for a fact that I have written report of a um, credible Western intelligence agency telling me that this attack was launched by Lashkar e Taiba. Why did you? And why don't you confront Nawaz Sharif with this information? Well, uh, in in due time, once we have uh, done our own work, once we have uh, completed our own um, uh, study, we will write to our brothers in Pakistan, and um, I can any time pick up the, the telephone and call Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, who certainly does not want that, who certainly wants peace and security in this region. You, you have often, whenever I spoke to you, and I was very stunned, I don't know if you remember our first interaction. At that time, I asked you, where is Osama bin Laden? And that was the time, President Karzai, when uh, then President General Musharraf was going around in American TV studios saying, I don't know where he is. At that time, you told me in an interview here in the national capital that he is in Pakistan. You were right. We, we knew he was there, we knew he was uh, 
not in the tribal territories of Pakistan. We knew he was near a major urban center. And that's exactly what we had told our allies as well. Where is Mullah Omar then? What is your information? Mullah Omar, yeah. to uh, the extent that we know, he's in Pakistan. Where in Pakistan is your information? That I don't know. There are reports that he's in Quetta? Well, these are speculations, but he probably is there. And he's in Pakistan under some form of protection? Definitely cannot be without protection. Well, why don't you confront the Pakistanis with We have discussed all these issues with, uh, with uh, uh, Pakistan, with uh, the government of Pakistan. We uh, uh, want the Taliban, uh, the Afghan Taliban, the Afghan Taliban, those who are seeking peace uh, to um, come back to their country. Uh, they, are, uh, they belong to Afghanistan and we must provide them all the assistance we can to, to bring them back to life. But those who are not Afghans, who are linked to terrorist organizations, that's a different matter. Uh, let, me, let me take you up on that, because uh, President Karzai, in August last year, you called upon Pakistan to help facilitate talks between you and the Taliban. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, I did. Are you in a damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of situation where you are compelled to rely on Pakistan? in this negotiation with the Taliban, and you are also at the receiving end, along with India, uh, with all these attacks which are allegedly ISI backed and lashkar e toiba backed. So, you know, do you believe, let me put it simply, that the ISI is using uh, at least the Taliban as a leverage with you uh, to broker <coughs> a deal on its terms vis-a-vis -vis your country? Uh, Mr. Goswami. That's a very important question. And as I mentioned earlier, we want talks with Afghan Taliban, who are neither enemies of Afghanistan, nor against India, nor against peaceful living, a peaceful living uh, in Afghanistan. But we know that talks with the Taliban alone will not bring us peace. Yep. We are in contact with the Taliban. Yep. On a daily basis, they come and approach to us, they talk to us, they want peace as well. The reason that we want Pakistan to be involved, because that's where the uh, influence for peacemaking will eventually lie, uh, will eventually rest. Uh, so uh, Pakistan can make a great contribution to peace in Afghanistan and to security um, in the region, including Pakistan, including India. That's why we are uh, um, seeking Pakistan's help. That's why we uh, go to Pakistan uh, um, very, very often to seek peace. So for us, the crux of the matter is there. Uh, that's recognized uh, nationally in Afghanistan as it is regionally. But can you trust them? You're trying very hard, Mr. Karzai. And, and sometimes I feel when I watch your speeches and your public statements, and in fact, some of your recent interviews, that you're almost at the end of your own patience uh, well, with, with, with the Pakistanis. Well, well, Do you trust them? Well, 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 well if, if it becomes uh, patience as um, an individual uh, person, as a human being, that patience has run out a long time back. But then uh, we have um, um, uh, different uh, compulsions in life, uh, and those compulsions would uh, uh, force us to uh, be patient and to keep seeking um, for as long as it takes uh, a solution um, through dialogue, through, through, through uh, friendly approaches and through, through contacts. We will continue to do that. Um, we see no alternative to that. Uh, the alternative to that is unfortunately worse. It, it's more chaos, it's more uh, bloodshed, it's more misery for, for the ordinary, ordinary people um, in this region who, who will suffer more. So we'll continue to be seeking uh, uh, peace, we'll continue to be seeking friendship with Pakistan, we'll continue to be seeking brotherhood with Pakistan. When I interviewed you last time, you said Osama bin Laden is in Pakistan and now he was caught. You mm -hmm. think the next time we'll be talking, Mullah Omar would be caught? Well, we, we don't want Mullah Omar to be caught in Pakistan. 